Okay, welcome to Workout with Alex. Today we are going to do a dumbbell workout at home. So all you need is two dumbbells, and the advantage of today's workout is you can work with three people, or you can do it by yourself. So the main station is where I am now, station number one. We're going to do 20 squats with your legs separated apart, hip width distance. When you go down, keep your knees separated, go as low as you can. You can use your hands to help you to create a little bit momentum. So after you do 20 of these squats, and then we're gonna do separate leg lunges. So find a spot in the front, one leg step back at a time until your knee touches the floor, and when you go down, twist to the other side. Do it slow, this one, take your time, and when your knee comes down, don't smash it on the floor, just very gently with control. And this uh, two squats are gonna isolate all the muscles in your legs. So you're gonna do 20, so that means 10 on each side. So you might count two sets of 10, it might be, it'll help you even more. Next, we're going to do mountain climbers. So put yourself into a plank position. Keep your hip bone tucked in, and then bring your knees up one by one to the front. Really feel your abs working. You can see right now this quarantine is hitting my stomach. I need to lose that shit fast. After you do 20 of those, then we're going to do side mountain climbers. Same thing with your hips. And then the last move, we're going to do these things called the Russian twist. So you sit down, keep your legs straight in front of you, and twist to the left and the right. And we're going to do 20. So this is station one. So as your friends, you can see my friends in the back. Oh, they are boop, 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 get Marcus to my, all the pang yao Henry la, gum kore yi wujo ke ta ge dong jok ge. So they're going to be watching you when you do the first station. When you finish, then you change. Then you go to station two. And we're going to do our chest, back, and triceps. So we have one dumbbell. So if you have friends like me right now, three, you can each have in the back one dumbbell. So we're gonna do a push-up, push-up position, push-up. Keep your elbow close to your body so you isolate your triceps. And when then, when you come up, oh, let's see, what am I doing now? Oh, I need to tighten up my dumbbell. So if you have a dumbbell like me, you can do that as well. Maybe you don't. So work with your own weight. You can do light. Or if it's too heavy for you, don't even do a dumbbell at all. Just work it on the push-up itself and you'll be all good. So how many do you do? You keep working until person in station one finishes. So you do a push-up, come up, plank yourself, and then do a row. So you isolate and you work your back muscles. So you keep on doing that. See, we're figuring out, I'm trying to explain this whole situation to my friends. So you can also watch this part now and learn how to do this uh, circuit training. So then the last station, station three, we're going to do a bicep curl. You can do it the traditional way or you can do the hammer curl. I'm going to do the hammer curl today. So hip Feet with uh, feet hit with apart. Come up to the bicep curl and then do a clean. So push your elbows out. When you're in your clean, you can use one hand to stretch out to help you to balance. If not, and then do a shoulder press. So we're going to hit our biceps and our shoulders. All three stations are going to hit every single muscle in your body. So when you finish this workout, you're going to do everything. And then you do the left side. So maybe this station you can do five on five. But as you can see, as we do it later, we're going to get tired. I probably was doing two on each side and then putting the weight down. Another win, if you can't do it, just hold the dumbbell and then and do work at your own pace. The most important thing is to work at your own pace. We're not going for reps here. We have to maintain our form. So it looks like we're about to start. Everyone's getting familiar with their stations. And of course, we should do a little bit warm up before this whole flow begins. So, okay, put one knee on the floor. Let's stretch out our hip flexors. Put your hands on your knees and try to just stretch right now the whole left side of your body. You can stretch your arms up to the sky. Are you guys ready? Okay, now we change to the other side. Let's do the right hip side flexor. Stretch up. Take deep breaths right now. Use your nose, inhale and exhale change. Okay, next, come into the downward dog position. Let's stretch out our hamstrings, our lower back, our neck, our shoulders. Spread your 10 fingertips onto the floor. Grip the floor with your fingertips and push. At the same time, extend your legs, especially lift your hips back. Change. Plank position. Let's do a cobra pose. Stretch out the front side of our body. Look up. Just feel your body nice and easy right now. Just to get in touch with our body, get a little bit warmed up. Okay, next we're going to stretch our hamstrings, bring your right leg out, toes flex back towards your face, just nice and gentle, connect with your breath, connect with your body, and stretch, change, okay, other side, left leg out, 
Hold it there. Keep stretching out your left leg. And now separate your legs apart. Put your hands on the floor. Let's stretch in between our groin. You can stick your butt back like cat and cow. And then you can bring your hip forward, trying to feel in different parts of your body. Let's do the right side of our leg. Lean to the left side, I mean. Right leg stretching. Hold it here. Change to the other side. So you can bring your knee down if you want to, or you can keep it like my friends are on the back. Nice and easy right now before we begin our circuit training. So all you need is two dumbbells and two friends. Ha ha. OK, let's begin. And we go. So we're going to begin with a squat. So squat down. Keep going. You can follow my pace. Do your own. Remember, we're going to do 20 on each side. So keep going. Try to go as low as you can. Use your arms to help you with the momentum. Do 20. When you finish, maybe you finish faster than me, then you can wait for me. If not, go at your own pace. But you can follow me through this whole workout. So next, we're going to do lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, I hope I didn't cheat, 16, 17, 18. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't do two. Okay, mountain climbers. Okay, guy joke, guy joke, it doesn't matter. Forward, one, I don't count. Just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it seems like I like to count to 18. Okay, Russian twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Wow, it seems like I really don't know how to count to 20. It doesn't matter. We're going to do three rounds. So enjoy. So change stations. And let's follow me for the first round. So next, we're going to do the push-up and the row. So you can roll the weight to the other side and then pull it up. So roll it, push up, come up, hold yourself in the plank, and pull your arm up. And come up. Push up. Follow me. Follow me. Elbows up, keep going, keep going. It's very hard because you just did station one. Fight through it right now. Familiar yourself with the movement and keep breathing as deep as possible. Keep going, keep going and pull. There is no end to this round because you have to wait for your friend to do it. Ha ha ha, too bad. Look at Henry, he's having fun. His form could be a little bit better. He's throwing his hands everywhere, but he's, he's working it, it's not bad. So remember, we're following me on the first round. So you can take your break. Take your time. This is uh, more about, this workout is more about, you know, working out with your friends more than the reps or anything. It's more like a cardio, and you're also hitting every muscle in your body. It's a very challenging thing, so we're going to work on our willpower here. You have to fight through it. So keep going. Look at Alex. He's still doing it. So when you come up, keep your elbow close to your body so you can hit your triceps. So this movement, this compound movement right now, you're hitting your triceps, your chest, and your back. So when you do the row, really try to pull your back shoulder first and then pull your elbow back so you feel your back muscles engaged. So Henry's on his second part of the mountain climbers. Good for him. He's looking good. I'm still doing it. Keep going, Alex. See? Don't stop. Okay, he stopped a little bit. It's okay to take a little break. Just keep moving together. So right now, all three people are synchronized together. This workout is uh, working out with friends. And we're trying to get back in shape. This is our first time shooting this kind of fitness video. And hopefully, we can bring you some more. So I have to keep going, push up. Keep going. Okay, change. He finished. Okay, I'm going over to station three. Okay, so first round, I'm going to follow me, and then second round, I'm going to focus back on station one. Okay, so now we're doing the hammer curls and the shoulder press. 
So move slowly. So bring the hammer curl up, clean it, and then push up towards the sky. Some tricks while you do this is to really try to push your elbows through when you're in that clean position so you can set up your arms in the right position to push up for the shoulder press. So I was doing, I think I did five on the right side. Now I'm doing left on the other side. Marcus, look how fast he's going. He's pretty good, pretty good. Shoulder up, push through, and work with your breathing. So maybe on you push through, you can create an exhale. So follow me, maybe the first round, keep going. Remember, you can do a light dumbbell. That's okay. This is gonna be a tough workout. We're gonna do three rounds. So I'm gonna stay with you for 30 minutes. Well, look at how fast he's going. Marcus's knees can go up a little bit higher, like he almost wants to touch his knees to his nose. But he's doing good. This one can be higher too. The knees can go almost up to the armpit or the elbows. Okay, take your time in the back, Alex. Yeah, shoulder press, push up. <laughs> Looks like we're having fun, but we're not. We're suffering at this moment. But it's worth it. We have to fight and struggle to keep fit now. Not many options to do workout. So, okay, let's see how many I do. One, follow me, two, three, four, Five, lower Alex, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, go, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, lunges. One, two, three. I need to learn how to count. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, come on, 20, yeah, I did 20. Okay, let's keep moving. Look, I'm getting tired. Keep fighting through. Let's do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay, damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, go, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Okay, Russian twists. Keep fighting through it. Stay with me. Legs up. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. Okay, move on. Follow me again so your friends can move on too. Next, we're going to do the push up and the row. So let me go back and explain a little bit more about the pulling movement. It's very tricky to begin with when you're not too familiar how to isolate your back muscles. But when you pull, remember, pull your shoulder blade back first, put it into the position where it's clenched, and then slowly bring your elbow back behind you. So try not to do it too fast in one motion where it just comes all the way up. There's a little bit of technique, and remember, if you're not too sure how to do it, move slowly. So remember the cardio part, we did in station one. Right now, station two, you can take a little bit more time to go for the quality over the quantity. So make sure, even though we're on the second round, you might be a little bit starting to fatigue. I'm definitely moving a lot slower than in the first round, but still fight through it. Always focus on the form and focus on your breathing. You have to breathe deep. If you don't breathe, your body has no oxygen and has no fuel, and you will fatigue very fast. So keep going. Keep fighting through. You can take a little break right now. See, I, can, I need to catch my breath. I need to get some more oxygen in my body. But uh, I think I'm going to try and move slower for the rest of the series and focus on the form. So push up and pull that back. So this is a really great movement that you can learn right now and you can do 
out of this circuit training. You can do it all the time by yourself at home with a little dumbbell. And then even if you're practicing by yourself, you can have two dumbbells. So then you can just do the push-up holding the two dumbbells. That way you don't have to roll the dumbbell to the right and the left. Keep going. So focus on doing your push-up with your elbows close to your body. You might start getting tired, uh, but this way is the best way to save energy because you're going to really start hitting your triceps at the same time as hitting your chest. So take your time. Remember, you can just hold it in plank. If you can't do this, if you're doing with your friends and, you, and you're completely tired and you don't know what to do, maybe just hold it in the plank position, push-up plank position, until you can do a good one. Because the other two stations in the back are not chasing the rep count. We are just waiting for our friend in the front to do it. So this is the joy of doing circuit training, is that you're all connected, and your fitness is only as strong as your weakest link. So whoever is doing station one really slow, the other two have to suffer. This is how the game is played. So maybe you can argue that the slower the person goes, the more benefit you're going to get because uh, you have to do more reps in the back. OK, we're changing. OK, let's follow me to station three again. Let's see, Marcus. Marcus is a little bit faster than Henry. <laughs> okay, but look at, oh no, see, you might sacrifice a little bit quality second round back because um, we're getting tired, but that's normal. This is a <laughs> normal symptoms of circuit training. Marcus can go a lot lower. It doesn't look like his hands are synchronizing in with his movements. And uh, he should try to keep his chest up straight more. When he sits down, it's moving a little bit more. So keep the body stationary when you go down. Go lower, though. Okay, let's count some of his reps to see what's happening now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Take a break. One, two, fight, go. Three, keep going. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, Marcus knows how to count, unlike me. Okay, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, very good. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very honest man. This is a good sign of character. So if you ever do business or in a relationship with Marcus, you know that he is very trustworthy. And like me, I always miss two reps in the end. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he was copying me. <laughs> okay, so third round. This is the last round. Everybody keep going. Keep fighting. Are you ready? We're going to be one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, what are those guys doing in the back? Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, go. Oh, I stopped at seven. One, two, three. Go, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, go, two, three. Oh, look at those guys in the back. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, da. Ah, yeah. la. la. Oh my God, I lost count. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop until I stop. 
Keep going. Okay, I stop. Change. Okay, next. Mountain climbers. I think the back, they told, go, one. Keep going. Don't stop until I stop. Actually, that's good. Just follow. Go, 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 go. Okay, they, they just pretended to do one. They didn't do anything. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Keep going. Keep going. Keep mountain climbers. Side mountain climbers. Keep that hip bone tucked in. Keep pushing on the floor. Plank position. Knees higher. Go, Alex. Go, 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 go. Russian twist. Go, go, go. Fidea. Go. Keep going. <laughs> look, at, look at these guys in the back. Okay, Russian twist. Go, go, go. Go, Alex. Wow, you help. <laughs> you help. Chut Gaga. He's get you get you bring your water. I forgot to say if you need to drink water, it's very okay. Russian twist, go, keep going. Russian twist, Russian twist, Russian twist, Russian twist, twist, twist. Keep going. We're almost there. Okay. We finished. Okay, I didn't go, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, go, go, Russian twist, 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 twist. Okay. Good job. You made it. We barely made it. Look at us. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's not over. It's not over. Change. Next person. So follow me if you're doing one by yourself. Do the push up in the row. Oh my God, what is Henry doing? Go lower, Henry. Lower. Okay, keep going. Do the, twi do the push up, Alex. So you know what to do. If you're following me, then you just do the push up in the row and you don't stop until Henry finishes. Keep going. Keep going, everybody. You're doing good. How are you guys doing? It's all worth it. So imagine how many calories you're burning now. That means later you can eat something very good, reward yourself, remember to drink a lot of water, and follow us. Work out in the sun. The weather is very nice today. Get your vitamin D. Look at Marcus. He looks like he's... He looks like deep meditation. That's good. <laughs> I scratched the head. Come on. Oh, gosh, you are. Okay, that's good. Work slow, remember, and push up. So when he pushes the shoulder press, if you're looking at my friend Marcus now, he can keep the weight a little bit closer to his head so it goes straight up and not more out to the side. Yeah, you see that? A little bit closer. So that's where your clean comes in. Push your elbow through. Oh, Henry got out. Let's look at Henry's form. Everybody else, keep working. Unless you're the person who's Henry right now, then you got to keep on doing the squat. Don't stop until he stops or changes. Keep going. Knee down. His body is coming down. He needs to keep his chest up. And he's finger, finger. Hi. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, my God. What's going on with the mountain climbers? Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's pretty good. He can use a little bit more strength into his hands pushing into the floor. <laughs> okay, he needs to pray a little while. Okay, next, side mountain climbers. He definitely wore the wrong clothes to work out. See his shorts is blocking his knees. He can't move. Knees higher, but his knees are, he can go higher. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, pray a little longer. Pray. <laughs> He's doing good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. What's Marcus doing in the back? He's still working the left. Oh, he must have changed already. It's pretty good. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, keep going. Side mountain climbers. If you're doing in Henry's position, go, go, go. Go, go. Okay. Russian twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1. Oh, good, good. Okay, Mark is going to take over the commentary. Now he's going to commentary his last round. Go. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's my last round, so it's going to be struggling. Uh, so far, I am doing okay. Uh, Henry is probably dying right now. Even Alex is trying to... <laughs> Catch your breath. I'm probably at my around 
15 count right now, I can tell I should be doing it a lot lower. So the, the two guys at the back are still trying to rest. So this is a really hard workout, especially at such a hot weather. We're sweating like hell. Okay, I'm done with my squats, and here's my lunges. Looks like I can still do the jumping lunge, but I gave up. Because <laughs> it's too tiring. Now I'm going to do my step-by-step -step lunges now. And Henry is still catching a breath. Henry, you're going to Henry, Okay. And then rest. <laughs> and then rest. That's a good spirit, though, Henry. He's trying his best to do squeezing the very, very last juice from his body. <laughs> hey, it's almost halfway there. Uh, I'm at my mountain climbers already, so it should be no longer than a minute. We'll be finished by this workout. And Henry is still resting. Alex is looking so like hopeless when he looks at Henry. And then he's actually resting too. Yes. Look at that face. Look at that handsome face. The last Russian twist, here we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Damn, I'm done. Oh, Let's go. Yeah. We're finished. We're finished. Let's go eat pizza. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do a little <laughs> a post workout cool down stretch. So bring your knees together and then twist your knees left and right, left and right, left and right. Other side change. Just loosen up the body a little bit. Catch your breath. Connect with your body. Okay, body down. Legs together, body down. Bring your body down and breathe. Slowly round your spine and come up. Head comes up last. Nice. Breathe. OK, now we're going to do a little backward bend. Put your hand on your hips. Separate your feet. Push your hips forward. Drop your head back. And you go back. Open up the front side of your body and breathe. OK, next, bring your arms up. And then bring your right arm over, bring your left hand in front, stretch out your deltoids and your shoulders. You might feel a little bit stretching down the right side of your body. Change the other side, left arm. There you go. And stretch out. Okay, next, we're going to twist our head one side. Nice and easy and gentle. The other side. Okay, feels good. Okay, next we're going to do a downward dog. Stretch out your body, your legs, your hips, your lower back, middle back, shoulders. Drop your head down, neck. Feel your neck relax, loose. And then do a plank, a little cobra pose. Open out the front side of your body. Keep breathing. Use your nose to breathe. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Right leg forward. You can bring your left knee on the floor, or you can straighten your left leg. Put your hands on the floor. Just stretch out right now your left hip flexor. You might feel a little bit stretching in the back of the bent leg. So left leg forward, you'll feel it might maybe a little bit in the left butt. Stretch out. Separate your legs apart. And now we're going to do a yoga pose. Grab your feet, and then stretch your body down. If you can, bring your head on the floor. Otherwise, it's OK. Just stretch out. OK, then we're going to bring our body to one side. Keep on opening up our hips, loosening our hips, and stretching. Change the other side. Nice and loose, comfortable, easy, and flexible. 